What's going on guys, TKD123 back video, and today I want to talk about the brand new games we're getting for free for PS Plus on March 2017. I know this video is a little bit late, it just, you know, a lot of things going on over the weekend. I uh, didn't really get to, you know, get a chance to look over these games. Obviously, I had a pretty bad weekend and it was my birthday, whatever, beside the point. We are back here again with the monthly series of PS Plus games for free, and here's what you'll be getting for the month of March of 2017. Starting off here, we have a game called Disc Jam, which I believe right now is an early access in beta mode, like it is not currently uh you know a game that you can buy yet necessarily and it's a game uh that uh i believe right now is in beta or you know it's kind of like kind of like that thing where it's in like early access or whatever and it's a and it's a bit you know kind of like the release i'd say of rocket league back you know last summer where uh that game debuted for free on the ps plus section of games so you know you were able to get this brand new game for free a lot of people got you know hands on it a lot of people loved it and that you know has taken off to this massive success that is rocket league but here we have, we have this jam this game actually looks pretty fun you know i'm not even gonna you know listen here let's be honest we get a lot of duds here on the ps plus section of free games we get a lot of things that you know are just irrelevant or really old games but this one here looks you know really fun and it's a it's a brand new game that's the thing it's a new ip something that we've we've uh, never actually seen before and the devs of this game is called high horse entertainment and uh, it looks like you know they both have the pedigree you know the, this whole entire studio you know the two people that lead the studio have a pedigree of working on activision games so that's call of duty that's a guitar hero that's tony hawk you know like they have that kind of background here so it feels like you know with a game like this where you are you know literally kind of playing uh i guess table talk hockey but you're you're using frisbees in a way like you know just having that type of thing uh you know it's gonna lance up to a lot of you know fast-paced twitchy gameplay and it looks like here is definitely showing off what they have done before in the past with you know having a call of duty dev uh you know background being you know very much of a twitchy shooter a fast paced shooter and stuff like that so i mean you know like this looks like a pretty fun game man like i'm looking at the gameplay right now this looks like really fun looks like something that you know is not gonna be a overall intense game not super serious whatever and that uh, looks like you can definitely have some fun here on this game and maybe this could be competitive play i don't know like, like maybe this could be mlg size here and it looks like you know you can do a lot of moves and stuff like that there's you know you can curve the frisbee and stuff like that so wait man i'm definitely gonna check this out definitely gonna try it out you know definitely gonna support uh, a new dev here uh, on the scene and definitely am gonna check out this game because why not it's free on ps plus next up here we have a game that is critically acclaimed everyone talks about this game everyone loves this game it originated on vita of course but you know of course you know with any good vita game it eventually comes to the ps4 and you know abandons the vita you know abandon ship r.i.p gravity rush we love you so much but <laughs> beside the point we have tearaway unfolded and this came to the ps4 i think around a year ago maybe maybe two years ago i think it was 2015 and something like that and uh, you know this is a full-fledged tearaway game it was the exact same one that was on the vita and they have updated new features and stuff like that they have the updated resolution and stuff like that so it's 1080p all that and uh, it's basically what you play before on the vita but you know on the big screen on the ps4 and uh, i have i think i briefly played this game i think i briefly played tearaway um on the vita i don't know if it was on a month prior to this or if it was just a demo or something like that but i do remember you know vividly kind of low-key playing this game and um it is very much kind of has like the same you know nature of intuitiveness um you know as like a little big planet where you know they are using motion controls the game uses the camera you know and sometimes it'll display you i think at one time you know at one point um on the vita during that version of tearaway uh there was a point where you know i was looking at the game and then like up in the sun it was your face so um so like you know there's this big you know giant sun and your face is in the middle of it but it's not just a picture like it's a live feed of your face from the front facing camera on the vita you know on to the sun so definitely is you know very much of a more you know artsy intuitive you know fun to play uh you know 3d platformer type of game here so definitely do check it out if you're interested in that and you know i'm you know so far i'm really liking this you know kind of games we got here for this month you know they are very much of a uh triple a standard you know what i'm saying like they have you know high clout within these games there is a ton of good praise going on you know about these games currently that we have right now you know with uh tearaway unfolded and along with this new game here that looks cool you know it's getting a lot of praise obviously in the beta and stuff like that so definitely do like you know this kind of trend here you know i'm liking this month okay this month looks pretty cool right now but next up we are talking about Undernight in Birth on the PS3. Now, this game, um, I know nothing about. I know absolutely nothing about. Look at the gameplay right now. Um, it seems to be a fighting game, you know what I'm saying, like in the same realm of like, let's say, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat in that way, where it's basically, you know, you know, one screen, you got the two players on each end. You know how it goes. You guys know how fighting games go. And it looks a little bit like that, but it looks like to have a little bit of an anime JRPG twist. I'm not sure if maybe, you know, Undernight is a series uh, that is, you know, currently showing on anime channels 
stuff like that. I'm not sure at all, really. I, I don't really follow anime at all. But um, this game came out in 2012, and it's coming out for the PS3 for this one. So if you want to download this game for free, you gotta get on the PS3, you gotta plug in, you gotta dust off that PS3, you know, of the dust and stuff like that, and get in to Undernight in Birth. So upon further research, this is, you know, this is a story and a, you know, kind of IP that stems off of a visual novel back in the day. And uh, it's basically a 2D fighting game, as we said before, and it features, you know, a lot of brand new cast and stuff like that. And um, a story that spins off from the original line, I guess, of lineage of Undernight, I guess, in a way. And and so, uh, this is coming out for PS3, you can download PS3, like I said before, and this game also features a multiplayer, so you can, you know, get online, battle with your friends, stuff like that, and do things along those lines. And, uh, you know, actually looking at the scores here, it's getting pretty credible, you know, it got, it got pretty decent scores here, it got 4.9 out of 5 on PS Store, obviously, it got an 80% on Metacritic, you know, and, uh, you know, when we look at Metacritic, that's the culmination of all the review scores for that particular thing, uh, you know, across all the review platforms, so it definitely is a pretty, you know, formidable game, you know, score, not, not not too shabby, 80%, that, that's a beat, you know, that, that's a passing grade, whatever, and uh, the show to it, of course, gave it a 9 out of 10, so it seems like a pretty good game, you know, if you like fighting games, definitely check this out on the PS3 this month. And next up for the PlayStation 3, we'll be getting Earth Defense Force 2025, a horrible name, I'll say yeah, that, uh, that name um, is so cliche, such a, such a whack name, but beside the point, uh, this game looks to be maybe an open world, right, open world action, uh, you know, adventure game, I guess, where you go around, there are armor boxes so you know you can get boxes and stuff like that I guess ammo from uh, the world and resources and stuff like that and it looks to be more of a action game here where you are basically defending the earth from big spiders or monsters along those lines something like that this game, you know, is a few years old. It came out in 2013, and you can definitely tell, you know, from its graphics and stuff like that, 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 uh, you know, like, this game is pretty, uh, you know, aged a little bit. As an age, the best, you know, it looks, it looks decent, it looks okay, but, you know, it is not anything to rave about, anything spectacular. It's definitely from the previous gen from the PS3, and, and that will be getting for free on the PS3, but there also is a PS4 version as well. So, if you're interested in that, you know, you can pick that up, but you, you gotta pay for it. That is not for free on PS Plus. And this is a sequel, I guess, to a game called Earth Defense Force 2020. 17, which, again, a horrible name, but, uh, you know, looking at the scores here, it got pretty low, so it's on the low end of things, okay, so Metacritic gave it a 69%, <laughs> 69, whatever, and uh, IGN gave it a 6.5 out of 10, and the Shogdo gave it an 8.5 out of 10, so maybe, you know, the highest one here was the Shogdo, they kind of liked it a little bit more, but overall, it got kind of in the, you know, kind of mid, you know, D range, stuff like that, so uh, it is a little bit of a tell that's kind of lacking, but hey, I guess if you want, you're just, just a regular third-person shooter that, you know, is mine unless you just want to go shoot things, I'm sure this will provide that entertainment for yourself. Next, we're going on to the PS Vita. Now, you know, these two games here from March 2017, we have a really good game and a game that looks questionable, looks something that I'm definitely not going to be interested in, but we have another game here coming up that is completely awesome. But, you know, the first one, you know, let's go with the trash first, you know, and get to the good stuff in a little bit. We have this game called Lumo for PS Vita, and uh, this game, like Lumo, it looks, it, it just looks weird. I don't know how to describe this game. Um, I guess you are... Uh, some little wizard type of thing, and it's an action adventure game, I presume. And uh, it looks, you know, a little bit kind of like a Minecraft vibe aesthetic to it, but not really in a way. I don't even know. This game looks something that I'm definitely not gonna be interested in at all. And the dev of this game is called Rising Star Games, and it looks here like this is kind of, I guess, like a very challenging platform puzzle game, I presume. I don't know if it's puzzle, actually, I don't even know idea. But you know, just looking at some, you know, quick things reading over, uh, they are saying that you know this game is pretty challenging. But um, you know, with that challenge it brings a great reward and uh, you know I guess uh, you know good sense of accomplishment upon finishing the game and there's you know I guess over 400 rooms with unique zones stuff like that and many hidden games and stuff like that and there's all sorts of secrets to quote uncover so I guess this you know is a pretty much of, I guess a deep game I don't know just aesthetically definitely not what I'm looking for in the game definitely not what I'm interested in at all but I guess if you are then definitely go ahead check it out and you will have fun on the Vita and lastly here for the PS Vita on the free games of March 2017 for PS Plus subscribers, we have a game called Severed. Now, uh, this game has been critically acclaimed by everyone I follow on the industry, really, you know, that covers Vita stuff, like, kind of funny, and I jam, stuff like that. Everyone here, you know, clearly loves this game, and, uh, you know, this game is called Severed. Now, uh, Severed is a game on the Vita, and it's published and developed by Drinkbox Studios. Now, you know, Drinkbox Studios are one of the studios that really do still, you know, hold the Vita game-wise. You know, they are clearly, you know, having titles put out, you know, they had Guacamelee and stuff like that, 
that. And so definitely they, you know, really do support the Vita still to this day. And that's, you know, pretty rare here to see on the gaming landscape because, you know, like a lot of people have abandoned PS Vita, even arguably PlayStation themselves have abandoned it. So it definitely is, you know, major props to see that they, you know, are still in it, you know, with the Vita and stuff like that. And that they came out with this game in 2016. So uh, this is a pretty current game here. And actually really surprising that, you know, they are actually giving this game away for free already and stuff like that. So definitely do appreciate all that good stuff. And um, I, I honestly don't know a lot about this game. I'm going to definitely get into it just because it's severed. Like, I've heard so much, you know, good things about this game. So we'll definitely be, you know, having this checked out. But it looks to be like an action-adventure game, you know, on the Vita. And who doesn't like those type of games on the Vita? And uh, I am definitely am excited for this game because I just want to play it. I have not played it, you know, ever before. And this game actually got nominated for best mobile and handheld game at the game awards so definitely you know is a game that has a ton of clout a ton of you know backing towards it and i cannot wait to check this out and you can as well for free on ps plus and that is all the games if you guys forgot any of them here they are just real quick for the ps4 you'll be getting this jam a new game along with tearaway unfolded and along on ps3 you'll be getting under night in birth and earth defense force 2025 and going on to the vita you'll be able to get lumo and severed as well and one quick tidbit i forgot to mention on lumo you'll be able to cross by that with ps4 so you'll be able to get both the ps4 version and the vita as well if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe and it's down below i appreciate you see me thanks for watching and as always i got you